bar leading off in the bottom of the fifth inning. And he steals off and then he gets away with it. He's one of the league's best. And I bar gets for him two. swinging for the first strike. Here's the pitch. And he leaves that one alone. Eric Ibar is showing patience there and an even count. Let's see if he bounces back after last night's game, striking out twice. See if he has a little bit more one, one to Ibar. And that's he looks at the strike. There and it's one and two now. Let's take a look here at how he's been mixing up his pitches so far in this game. Well, guys, I mean, that changeup is the pitch we've seen him throw quite a bit here today. That one's low. Me, he's throwing it a little bit too much. You know, John, you're right. The pitch I'd like to see him utilize more is the two-seam fastball. Get some movement on it and try to get it off the center of the bat. All three. Going outside for a ball. Three and two now. A two-seam fastball down and away, trying to get the hitter to roll his hands over to get the ground ball. And high bar to the draw leadoff walk here in the bottom of the set. Really tense situation when you think about it. A long, long in fact. Howie Kendrick up. He earned that walk right there. What a great approach. And Kendrick has the bat out for a bunt. Scooped up by Eric Seedan. Fires over to first in time. High bar advances over to second base. And the Angels have a man on with one out. Good teams do the little things, and that's how you move around. That'll bring up Josh Hamilton. Get the bunt down, and now you've got a runner in scoring position. Runner is second. And Josh Hamilton shoots this one fair down the first baseline. Ivar's going to score, and the Angels have a 6 3 lead. He's a player, day in, day out, a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. And it's Mike Trout now, one away. Sometimes uh, you get out the steam like we're seeing here, and it just keeps on going. Consistency up and down the line. You can't ask more from your offense, guys. They got to be pleased with the lead they have right now. Take a look. So down. now the Blue Jays are uh, going to the bullpen and getting the left-hander ready. That being at least Paris. I don't think that's the matchup they want. Hit on the ground. Trout, a ground ball. The Barnes. That's out number two. Here's what's happening this Friday. It'll be Ryan Zimmerman and the Washington Nationals. are be playing host of the visiting New York Mets. It'll be a 7 p.m. start time. Here's Albert Pujols now with the wow. RBI chance. He homered back in inning number two. That is a strike. Matt Garza now gets ahead on two. Well, this is just one of those pitches right there that he had a chance to put in play, but his indecisiveness caused him to hesitate. So and when you hesitate, goals goes down, you but the Jays move up another run. They're down 6 3 as we go to the well, six. score a run, one hit, and leave a man on. How bad Adam Lynn. Adam Lynn will lead off here in the How's six. How's he attacking on the first delivery? Let's look here. Oh, the throw first pitch strike, it means trouble. We've seen that in this game here today. As he's given up a bunch of hits, but he falls behind. 1-0. One 1-0 -oh. one -oh one -oh pitch to Adam Lynn. Swung on line. And right it's center line to the right center. It's base hit for Adam Lynn. Now batting. This is what you're supposed to do when you're leading off the inning. Figure out a way to get on base any way you can. A hit's Up great, a walk's great, Cabrera. but just get on base because now you have the potential to score runs. And Melky Cabrera up. Last time up, he found success with the single. Melky's going to turn the ball. Turn the bond Adam over. He's up with it. And well, so much for that as Lynn is out in second. second. But Cabrera's now at good first. Good snap decision right there. Making the play yeah, the ball. Getting the lead runner out at second base. Nice job. And we're going to see swing. Ground ball, ball out. He grabs it off the hop. There's one on the first to double play. Well, that play did not work out for the Blue Jays. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Angels still protecting this lead. Thoughts of the manager, one can only speculate, but at this point, you don't believe he's... Garza still in the start of the bottom of the sixth thing. Trumbo is ready to go, he stands in. Bottom half of the sixth inning underway, it's an 0-1 count. Well, what types of pitches have been put in? Trumbo, that's a base hit. shortstop. And that will be in there as Trumbo picks up the base hit. Let's check out the season for Mark Trumbo and see what kind of year he's putting together. Fifth best in RBIs. Top the batting with runs. I'll be a Hank Conger. And as you can tell, he can pretty much do it all. Ranked in the top ten in home runs as well. So the power production there also. Conger is going to take a shot at it. Last time up, flew up. 
0-1 offering from Garza. Swings on the 0-1 pitch, can't hit it, strike two. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. The old Batter swung the right. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Boy, a uh, low strikeout, so important, coming late in the ball game, keeps that confidence up. Uh, they tell you that strikeouts add to the pitch count, but a three-pitch strikeout right there, he can go well, that will be it for Chris Iannetta at the plate. For Rand Garza. The game last Luis Perez night, comes up, but Garza is still responsible. Doing the pitching, it will be Luis Perez. He'll be relieving for the Blue Jays now. There's a swing Five ball. Drive deep to left field. Deep to this left, it's going to be caught for number two. As he drops back and puts it away. Here are the teams with the most extra base knocks around the league. Number one, the Royals. Second, the Yankees. The Angels. Andrew Romine will win. That's one help with the Astros. And the fifth best, the A's. This team among the best in extra base hits. They understand. Jefferson will get ready in the pen for the Blue Jays. Count. You need to look for your pitch. And when you get that pitch, drive it to the wall. They're getting it done. Can't catch up with that swing and a miss. And it's now 0-2. Just couldn't catch up with that heater. Excellent pitch and a late swing. Fastball. Down goes Romine. We'll head to the center inning. No runs on a hit. And they'll strand it. The Angels six to run. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutch. Racing off in the seventh for Toronto. Sports. Swing and a line. And that's going to be a base seven. hit for and Reyes. That's a base hit. Reyes now on. Reyes is aboard. Uh, you got one hit going. Now let's see if they can string together a few more hits. Because if they do, a big inning is coming, and it could be the end for this pitcher. So now the opportunity, Emilio Bonifacio. And Weaver misses low that time. The best curveballs are the ones that start the strike yeah, zone. Then Basio with the punt. Zone. He couldn't get him to fist for that one. Though. That's going to be scooped up by Weaver. He'll throw it over to first and in time to get by Basio. Reyes moves to second. That's the pitcher one. Right down the middle of the plate. You got it. And you need players to execute that. It's not easy when it's coming in there at 95. Up steps Bautista. Here's where you want this big bat. Jose Bautista will stand in. And they want no part of Bautista. They're just going to put him on. Jose Reyes on base, one of the best base dealers in the game. They need him to go, but everybody knows it. Outside. So that'll put two runners on the Blue Jays with one out and the possible. Time run coming up in the form Weaver, of Edmund Encarnacion. Ball three. Well, now you know three balls. Batista can be very selective. Well, any hitting coach will tell you, you can't hit that good high fastball, especially if it's out of the strike zone. It's a pitch you have to lay off of, make him bring it down to give yourself a chance. Step, step, step. He didn't give him anything to hit at all. Free pass on four pitches. Mm -hmm. So, the opportunity. There's a and Encarnacion will fly ball. This ball, way back. this ball is going to be caught for out number two. Reyes is going to tag up and head to third. Well, the season winding down. So the Blue Jays now runners on the corners. Final game with Toronto's Thursday. They'll meet with the Rasmus the West Pole, the Seattle Mariners. That's going to get going on Friday night. And following that, a road series. They and will. Jose Valverde will get ready in the pen for the Angels. Does. That should be a great series. They really match up well. A little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced. We don't know problem. There's a and center. Rasmus base hit. And in there, the in a center. Reyes comes home to score, and it's a two-run game. Up to three hits now for the game. And we'll see three hits now for Rasmus, and up steps James Arcevia coming up. They're looking at a lot of determination right now. They are closing in. These are crucial at bats. Now, Gary, you know what? They're chipping away at this lead, and just in time, too. They don't have too many opportunities left. So that let's ball is short, and oh, that's to be bobbled, and they have no play. Everybody is safe, and the Blue Jays have loaded up the bases. Infield got to play back in this situation and get the out at the easiest base. Oh. Change up and bounce that one to the catcher. We are two outs here with the bases full. And so we'll take a look here at the pitches that he has thrown in attempts to get the hitters to chase him. Well, when you break it down, his command just hasn't been there. You have to earn outside corner on the plate or the inside corner. 
He hasn't earned it with his command early in the count. When you look at his pitch chart, it's just all over the place. When you can't command the pitch, you're going to get hurt by these hitters. He has not been able to command anything. That's ball four. Adam Lynn draws a walk. Release is loaded, and Bautista's going to come home with the score. We've got a one-run ball game now. Three ball count. He goes back to the fastball, which is what he should do. And but he misses. Now Jared Weaver is going to come out of the game. There we go. Here's Melky Cabrera. Jose Valverde will enter here to seven. Facing Melky Cabrera. Give them the lead. An extra base hit could really start to spread the margin. They are back in this game. And we'll get to see Jose Valverde pitching. As the Angels turn. Bail ball. The to short. And Ibar. On the first. And the Blue Jays will leave the bases loaded. But Toronto ends up scoring twice in the inning. And will go to the bottom of the seven. At this game, uh, Mike Sosha's effort looks like this. Jefferson is now for Blue Jays. One run lead. Thoughts, I'm sure, about how to finish off this victoriously. Ibar is That's the bat foul. Now. And out on the mound, we've got Jeremy Jeffers. As the Blue Jays bring in their reliever, and it's fouled away. A fly. Ibar, fly ball. That's going to fall in front for a base hit. Time to have a look at the league leaders in stolen bases. Check out He's got the numbers at the top of the pack. We have six out of ten. Bounce game between the pitcher and the base runner after he gets on base, especially if he can steal bases, is a great thing to watch. He has to throw over, he steps out. But not only what the speed can do as far as stealing a base goes, which he's best. Swing Bam ball, Grants. And it's second to one on the first. Is not in time. Hendrick scores. Very close play. Now bring up Josh Hamilton. It's Josh Hamilton. And he throws the first one. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Well, that's just one of those the pitcher says, here it comes, trying to hit it. Fastball hitter, he wanted that pitch. He just didn't quite come up with the swing. He deals. A swing. And uh, Hamilton shoots one in the gap for a hit. Kendrick will move to third. Hamilton's got a double his second game. And he continues to swing the back row and miss with three hits in this ball game. This one comes here with only one out. I hear the numbers that Josh Hamilton put up last month. Was it a good month? Let me be the judge. Second home run. Oh, we're up Mike Trout. And as you can see, he's not just a guy to look for contact. He goes up there Chad the Chad Beck ready in the pen. In the top ten of the league in slugging percentage. A little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. And that's down and in for a ball, 1-0. and all. Oh. And Trout will take it out low. Well, he's trying to get him to chase on those first three pitches. He laid off of them. Now, you might want to... And Mike Trout will draw a walk. That'll load up the bases to the Angels. At that time, he stays off it. They go for the fastball. Now, Van Bauer cool. What he should do here. Be aggressive. But he throws it out of the zone, and now a base is loaded. And it's Albert Pujols in the box now. And here's a chance, maybe, to put this thing out of reach. Now, this at bat right here could pretty much decide this ball game. Late in the game, key at bat. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Now, it's hard to believe the pitcher could get himself into this kind of situation. Oh, and the pool holes, holes, and that's foul. Pool holes. Uh, you don't want to walk them, but there's not another guy in baseball that scares you more. Back up the ball. ball. Gets it. There's that's one over the first. It's a double play. So the Angels will leave the bases loaded. A one-run game as we go to the eighth inning. Leading it off is Clint Barmer. He hit into a double play his last time. Swings on that first Clint pitch. Barmer the fastball. Oh, and one. Okay, I think they're going to look at anything they can. If there's an inside pitch, get hit by the pitch, get on base, you're the tying run. If you can, lay down a punt for a base hit. Hit one in the gap. Think about going for two. Put yourself in scoring position. He catches the ball, strike, and that's going to send Clint Barmas back. We well, like to see your pitch strike. Guys out. We'd like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a dominate. Hit in the dirt. Ball to short. And Ibar picks it up. Two away. Two away. 
We're in the home stretch now. Here's a look at what the Eastern Division race looks like. Blue Jays out in front, first place. Yankees in second place. Yep, Red Sox in third. Yep. Fourth belongs to the Orioles. And it's the Rays in the last slot. Well, Toronto had so many different ways to win ball games, and that's why they're sitting atop the American League East, because everybody seems to contribute day in and day out. And it's 0-2, Emilio Bonifacio now getting behind in the count. Like there is one out here remaining in the eighth inning, you've got to try to do Burnett something. Burnett will get ready in the pen for Even if he has singles, you've got to think. Got him looking straight three will go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Play, get yourself in scoring position. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing to try. And Mark Trumbo to lead it off. He singled in his last uh, comes Chad Beck. And Chad Beck will get ready to run the eighth inning. He'll be relieving for the Blue Jays now. Well, in the late innings, now it's time for the Jerry managers Weaver's to line match the bench now. to see who can best will, utilize uh, his bench and his bullpen to win this game. For both starting pitchers following the conclusion of this game. Swing sends the Trumbo into the gap for a base center. hit. And it's through into the gap. Should be extra bases. And Trumbo's going to end up at second with a stand-up double. Well, you talk about a rude look. First batter, he faces and leaves one right there, and he serves up that extra base hit. Let's check out the season for Mark Trumbo and see what kind of year he's putting together. Fifth best in all the eyes. Captain Bounty with runners in scoring position. Congo will come up to play now. He's, he's over three in this game. Top ten in home runs as well. So the power production there also. First pitch was a strike. 0-1 oh, now. Well, that's an awfully big hack for such a slow, slow off-speed pitch. Came up empty. Here's the delivery. And the ball. Armas over to first. Congress retired. Congress is 0 for 4 now. RBI opportunity. Chris Lionel. That's solid. And Peter Borges will come in and pinch it here for Chris Lionel. He's going to bring Peter Borges to the plate. He's going to come on as a pinch hitter. Line drive. Foul. That's foul. Towards first. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the ball off the inner edge. Nothing in two. He has that little running action on that two-seam fastball that busts in on the hands of... There's a ground ball. ball first. And he scoops it up. Toss to back. And two away. Moving to third is Trumbo. That's a good heads-up play. The Angels have two on. Oh, he's he's one on from the out. Out. One on Jerry, two Jerry, strength against strength right now in a critical situation. He struck out last night. A pinch hitter coming up for Romeo. He's going to come on as a pinch hitter. Well, it's a luxury for the manager having a lefty coming off the bench like this guy. They go to him here, hoping it's the right move against the right-handed pitcher. 0-1 oh, count as that started off with a strike. Working ahead of the count in key situations All is critical right. for a pitcher. That first pitch strike could go a long way to getting this guy out. Slider low and in the dirt. Good block there with the catcher. This is ball four, so he comes on. Yeah, Eric Ivar will come in the plate. Good eye by the hitter there. Ivar is one for three. Ball. Understanding below the knees. It. It's Ivar at the plate. Trying again here, just one for three thus far. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got about a one one right now. The salvo the is getting ready in the pen for the Blue Jays. That's a right hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. To the Ivar strike three swinging. It was got a one run game going into the night. They pick up no runs, one hit, and strand a couple. The Angels six, Blue Jays five. And he knows there's not a lot of time to get the all important time run focusing right now on doing that. Sean Burnett will enter now for the Angels. He's got to start at the ninth inning. And he's facing Toronto's big bats Jose Bautista, Eddie Encarnacion. And Colby Rasmus. Now it's up to the closer to come in and slam the door. Big Down goes Bautista, strike three. 
One out. Registers 87 miles per hour with very little break. A young hitter's like well, we have to come up in these situations, these situations because you gain experience and you can win over your teammates. Oh, wow, ball. Ball. Do with the plate and when you play with one out, no way on. Uh, Gary, the key is to not let him get on base. Clearly, he doesn't. The one to Edwin, fly ball. And that's going to be the second out. Now bring up Coley Rasmus. Now you know what you're running out of the way. Coley has already homered once today. Right here. Listen, you'll take it. A one run win is just as good as a 10 run win. Okay, he's 3 for 4 yeah, in this game. He homered earlier in the ball game. It's hit five that by is Rasmus. a foul ball. One's in the dirt. Nice stop. That's in the dirt. He traps it. No. Oh, all three in the dirt, but he held on. And only a couple strikes to go here. Nice reach. And Rasmus will draw a walk and two out. The Blue Jays still alive here tonight. Location, but he just missed with that one. Jay Karen Cedia. And it's Aaron Cedia coming up. All right, Gary, the base runner now on after that walk. That's the That's time not in this game, so they've got to be very careful right here. The 0-1 to Aaron Cedia. That is a foul, a foul ball. So the Blue Jays now down to their final strike here. The 0-2 to Aaron Cedia. another foul, foul ball. O2 pitch to JP. Ground ball to short. Ibar on the first, and the Angels have won this game by a score of six to five. A real tight ball game. The Angels come away the victors. The Angels win the opener of this three-game set, six to five over the Toronto Blue Jays, and now here's your player of the game. It's Mike Trout. Mike Trout showed us how to get it done in this one. Well, you know what they say that everyone loves to see the long ball when you come to a game, and he's certain. Steve, I don't want to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. So that's the fourth game. consecutive loss for the Blue Jays. As they now fall to 78 and 62. The Angels go to 76 and 65. Jared Weaver, your starter and winner for the Angels, going 62 first. Going to have five runs, one of them unearned, on 10 hits. He struck out four and walked. For Valverde successfully holding it and Burnett getting the save. Garza the loser. He went five at third. He had six runs on seven hits. He struck out four, walked two. And Perez, Jefferson, Beck each was scoreless outings of the bullpen for Toronto. For the Blue Jays, Cabrera was 14th double of the year. The home run by Rasmus, as I mentioned, was his 39th. The sacrifice fly by Eddie was only his fifth of the season. For RBIs, 121 now for Eddie, 76 for Lynn, and Rasmus picked up three to go to 104. For the Angels, Ivar committed both of the Angels' errors. He has 13 now on the year. Hamilton with two doubles to give him 30. Trumbo with 29. Pujols and Trout the home runs. Numbers 31 and 35 for Pujols and Trout, respectively. RBI's Pujols is 79th. Trout gets three to go to 110. Hamilton picks up two to go to 114. Valverde is 30th hold, and Burnett gets his 38th save of the season. And well, that's gonna do it for this uh, gameplay here of MLB 2K13. Hope you've all enjoyed it, and we will see you all again next time.